Hello beauties, welcome back to the vlog. This week we are talking about teamwork and how it can help us in our organizations and our families. We've talked a little bit about being welcome to feedback and uh, talked about the acronym FIRE, thinking about how do we evaluate what people say to us. Is it a fact? Are we interpreting something? How are we reacting to it? And how does this end? And I think that's something for us to continue to think about as we talk about this topic. Today, we're gonna to talk about the difference between accountability and responsibility. And it's very common, I think, in organizations, maybe less so in families, although if you're in a family like ours, this comes up a lot too, um, about who's responsible? Who's gonna be accountable for that? We really take a lot of energy to try to pin down the who and why is that? and definitely in our company as well. And I think sometimes we can get confused because we're trying to set expectations, and we're trying to make sure we know what's gonna be done, and we're trying to divvy up tasks, right? And at the same time, it's hard to remember what that really means and what the differences are. So we're gonna just talk a little bit about this because I think it's an important thing. In Agile or in Scrum, which is what we use here, being responsible is really key. So if you are going to be the one responsible for a task, right? You're the person who is responsible for something. Responsibility is about owning a thing, right? So you're responsible for a task or you're responsible for the vision or you're responsible to get something in on deadline. It's you're responsible for something. And then if you've said, yep, I'm gonna get that, um, contact page done in our business or I'm going to wrap up the shopping cart or I'm going to make sure that deployment is done right these are our words but um, and you've said I'm going to be responsible for that thing right then accountability comes in when your team says to you well is it done right and so accountability for me is really about um, people so responsibility is you're responsible for something and accountability is that you're being held accountable to someone and i think that really helps to to talk about this so a person um right you take responsibility for something so i'm going to give you an example of a team project that i did when i realized in college that teamwork finally mattered i had spent most of my school life being the lone wolf as i mentioned a few days ago where I just, I wanted to do my own thing. The team slowed me down. It didn't go fast enough. I was an A plus student. Um, I always have been. And my grade being tied to the follow through of other people that I was going to have to depend on, I'd rather just do the work myself and make sure everyone got an A than to take the risk of getting less than perfect score. And that risk was too much for me, that risk of not being perfect. And it's funny because there's still that piece deep inside me, but a lot has changed now because I see risk as something that makes us better and that pushes us and that I don't have to have the perfect score. It needs to be good enough to get to the next thing, right? So that's a change. But it comes from this project I did in college in a statistics class with Dr. O'Brien in sociology of all things. So some, someday I'll tell you all the majors I went through, but not today. So I was in a sociology statistics class with Dr. O'Brien, and he said that we were going to have to do a group project to show how people interacted with each other. And it was around social interactions, but we had to map it out with math. And I thought this could not be uh, any worse. <laughs> I'm going to have to go out, everyone's going to have to show up at a place at the same time multiple times in a row, we're going to have to calculate things together, this is horrible. And I went to Obi and I said, uh, can I just get a pass and do this on my own? And he said, well then it wouldn't be a group project. And I said, well I don't want to do this because no one's going to be accountable and accountability is really important to me. And he said, I would like to give you a suggestion. I want you to consider something. And so now I'm gonna share this with you and, and I say, I, I want you to consider this as well. And that is this, he said, perhaps you could find out in the group what everyone thinks they're good at. 
just have a quick conversation and say, well, I'm good at the calculations and I'm good at tracking how people interact and gosh, I've got some design chops so I could make it pretty and so on and so forth. He said, go have a conversation and see what people are good at. And I said, well, how, how are we going to make people be accountable? Because that mattered to me, right? A plus student. And he said, well, I think it's more important that each person takes responsibility for their job in the group. And I was like, okay, well, okay, whatever. You know, I was kind of dismissive. I said, well, what does that mean? And he said, well, that, what that means is that if someone says, I'm going to do the calculations, then they own that. And if someone says, I'm going to show up and see how people interact around, it was doors and elevators, I think is what it was. So how do we interact of opening doors for each other and holding doors and closing doors and so on? And how do we interact in elevators? And what happens when we break the social norms? You know, so he said, well, someone's good at that, then they own that. And I'm like, okay. He said, and then you're accountable as a group to each other. Each person is responsible for their part. And then you have success in your part and you come back as a group and together you did all of the pieces. Whereas one person couldn't do all of the pieces as effectively or as well as you can in a group. And I don't know, there was something that finally clicked for me where I said, okay, so this is how it works. So you delegate that responsibility. Each person has the role. He said, yes. So we did this project the elevator one was quite hilarious. Turning around and facing people in an elevator makes them very, very uncomfortable. Uh, but tracking that was done by one person. I did some of the calculations. I did the editing and the writing. Someone else did some photography and so on. And our project was not an A-plus project. But it was better than it would have been if I had done it on my own because I learned from all the different people in the group and they taught me things about their areas of expertise that I wouldn't have learned if I was in that on my own. So responsibility in this case is really about taking responsibility, taking responsibility for something, a role, a skill set, an item, a task, a deadline, and then being accountable to your partner, to your family, to the group, so that together you can get more accomplished. I'll see you tomorrow.